Okay, so I survived day one in Wild West Tennessee. Let's see what day two has to offer for us. So we can leave the house now. Let's go. If you liked the last video, hopefully. Oh, I like that. The light. That looks pretty good. Oh, it's an animation. <laughs> Finally, we see his face. Should have done this in the last video. That must be the girl from the poster. It's such a shame that it doesn't look like what it just did. But I do like the lighting in the game. I really do. There's still a big disconnect, isn't he, between the actual gameplay and the animation, where I think most modern games, probably bigger studios, bigger budgets, they are able to match so like it's seamless between cutscenes and gameplay but me and punch studios they're a very small studio probably haven't got the budget owl a careless settler is a dead settler right is that it is she me is she a threat or does she mean me no harm well i'm gonna be an arrogant prick so i'm gonna go is that a threat you are careless you eat food you find lying around you sleep when you know a stranger's nearby between starving and freezing to death i took my chances who are you, I'm Ryder. So I've gone pretty chilled. I've gone from threat to there. Who are you, Owl? So she got another name. Is that what it is? So I can call her Owl. Or her name's Betty or something. That's a strange name. I'm a stranger in a strange land, remember? My father gave it to me. He was a strange man like you. So I can ask, are the others nearby? Or I lost my people in the snowstorm. I lost my brother. Have you seen anybody else except me? Tell me where the others are, damn you. So if I ask this, will it let me ask that one again? Look around, this was a city once. Many died in the fire, the others fled and made camp on the other side of the hills. The people you came with, you walked in circles during the storm. Your wagons are not far, so she answers it anyway. <laughs> You're useful after all, scram kid. I have to go find them. I don't want to be too much of a bell end. Wait, you are old. Yeah, you are hurt. I'm old. He's not old. You are here, you are cold. Take this. Oh, thank you, the darling. What'd she give me? Oh, black poncho. Nice. And I got an achievement for that. Right, equip. Clothes can be worn. Depending on the cut material, they can protect against cold or heat. So I think that's new. Uh, select the clothing in your inventory and type E to equip it. So yeah, bit of a Wild West thing now going on. And it's saying I need to find the convoy and I need to get 60 stones. But I think the stones will just be for... Um, let's see if we can get a drink. Oh yeah, just let me drink. The stone will be like... Usually there's a journal, isn't it? Like you can do different tasks. So main story and then we will have your little skills thing so I, I didn't really look at this on the last one we have the skill tree i haven't got any points yet the journal will tell me what i've been doing so i can look for this nearby settlement or i can find the convoy and see if my brother there's the map i was hoping the map would be different but it looks kind of the same so it's still red rock management i haven't got a city here Dynasty is not so as a yeah, and technology no points. If that's the ch oh side quests and then chapters. The first nine steps, so we'll get a thousand XP if we collect stones, craft two axes, cut down trees, collect logs, and craft a wooden hammer. That's fine. Wait, is that owl again? Yeah. So where am I going, owl? I forgot what you told me. Let me get a warm face, girl. My plums are like ice cubes. Let's go look for the convoy then. One thing I did not do on the last uh, video. Oh, shrooms. There we go. Let's take these. I wonder if these are seasonal, you know, like other games where... Like, I've been playing a lot of Aska. And in that, mushrooms come out when it rains. Just pretty cool uh, technique technique feature whatever the word is i don't know i can't really think of it at the minute but if you know you know if you don't know you can just ignore me 
quite a few actually. Uh, this is when I get lazy in games, you know. No, no, now that I know there's people in game that can pick this stuff up for me, I just want them to do it. I'm so, I'm bone idle. Convoy is 137 meters away. So let's head that way anyway. Oh, what do we look like when we run? Inf do you know what? First person might actually be better than third person. I mean, animation's well better. And it looks neater. I know people are probably be like, oh, graphics. And then they'll go play like an indie game that's got 8 bit on it. That's really nothing. Okay, we're running along the path. Oh, it is my horse. I bet you it's a horse. My, well, it's a horse. It's got to be my horse, hasn't it? What's this stuff? I kind of picked that up. Let me know in the comments, by the way, because I'll probably be flitting. Oh, the frame rate just dropped significantly. By the way, I'm still showing the frame rate at the top, so if you want to know. Game description. Sorry, not game description. My PC specs are in the video description. So if you want to know, can of beans again, oatmeal cookie, we'll take all of that. We can grab this saddle. You know what? I don't actually know. Is there a weight limit? 100 grams. 800 kilograms. And I'm on 60. Oh no, there's dead people. Who are you? Tim. Tim, you fought. Who did you fight? Who? <laughs> I'm going to rub your hat, sunshine. Uh, Perry. S words. That was no accident. That was not this. Like, you've gone off. Didn't give me a chance to read it. Owen, right. Brace yourself so I can read the game. Owen, I swore I would break your neck one day, but not like this. Someone's took his gun. Is this the brother? No, it's a girl. Nelly. Oh, no. Nelly. Little Nelly. No, 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 no. Damn it. No. No. If you're comparing this video to the last video, it's obviously like it's in the daytime now. So vocal. Oh. Inspect host to analyze that. Names are Ryan. Health 100. Stamina 2, 2. Food 100. Water 100. Why doesn't he need a saddle? He's my horse now. Okay, so this must just be the ruins of the wagon trail all the way through. They remind me of medieval dynasty. You know, you see the wagon trails. Oh, a new coat. Bull's no jacket. Paul. He might still be alive. Brother! <laughs> Oh, it just gives you the name of it. Okay, it's Paul's jacket. I'll take it because he might be cold. Let's see what we've got in here. Miners, pickaxe, rawhide, bread, health tonic, stone axe, and we'll take it all. Wait, what's that do to my weight though? 83. So can I... Oh, inspect the horse. I've done that. It doesn't let me put the saddle on him, does it? You know what? It is the same map. Because even though I can't see it, I, can sort of, I think I'm guessing that was where the town was, wasn't it? Because I used to build there. If I go down there, will that be the river? And stuff. So, yeah. I might take a quick detour. Anything around here? I don't know why I can't pick up these, these cans. All right. Quick detour. Let me go down there and just see. If that's um, where I used to build. I think it is. Forest discovered. Yep, pretty much. Fishing village. <laughs> yeah, this is where I always built it. Well, always. It's a two playthroughs. I started the game twice. I built um, houses here. Let's get back on track. Here we go. Nice road. I do like, though, that they've added, like, the snow and stuff. And as I said in the last video, I just really wish 
he has altered the hoods because I hate that crossbow. Hey, cross. Crosshair in the middle of the screen. You can't go first person, by the way, while you're on a horse. Yep, this is well different. It used to be the village, so they completely got rid of the town. Unless this is the way. No, yeah, it's the, this was the town. Taxation. Okay. Maybe they've rolled back the years in the game so the town hasn't been built yet. But we'll go speak to everyone. Make a bit of a nuisance of ourselves. Introduce ourselves to the locals and see what happens. Right, who are you? Hey, you know, he looks good, doesn't he? You know, I mean, a bit fuzzy in that, but... It is, they have improved, like, the character models and that. Right, who are you? The hair needs work, though. The facial first. I'm going to steal everything from your village. You hammer a knot in there, sunshine. I used to work with a guy. He was the caretaker in the college you went to. And this is how lazy he was. He'd just walk around with a screwdriver. And then if you saw anyone in a position of authority, he would just stop wherever he was walking and just pretend he was screwing something in. And that was his day. What a guy. Right, I picked up a load of stuff that I probably need to analyze. I can't analyze the sense. Uh, the miner's pickaxe, can he analyze this? Let me just analyze a few of these and I'll be back. Obviously, if there's anything of interest, I'll let you know. It's weird that I can't go back. I always have to do the X and then go back into the inventory. I'm getting a little bit heavy. He's just pretending to work again, isn't he? You know what? Lighting makes or breaks a game, doesn't it? And it's just... Helen, I can talk to you. He can't do this to us. Who? Wait, who? Don't walk away from me, witch. Right, let me make a stone axe. Nope. I pushed a button then. I don't know what it was. Does anyone want to talk to me? John Mulford. You seem a man who wants to talk to people. Take a look at my wares. So he's a salesman. That's good. Open shop. Right, oh, he's buying them. Right. Pretty much, is there anything I want to sell? I'll sell the jeans, because I have no money. And the pants. Wait, is that $50? Wait, hang on. If they're $50, are they the pants I was wearing? I don't think I wanted to buy anything off them just yet. See you later, John Mulford. Right, who have we got over here then? You, it, The red coat a guy last time he used to send you off looking for types of rocks uh mama jay was a cook let's see if she can cook things for me now i guess they just don't know me yet so they're, not, they're just keeping stum mainly because i'm going around like this and stealing everything that they own martha good day uh, you sound cheerful or learn more the kid mentioned he said he saw outlaws setting the old town on fire what kid? They must be mistaken. There are no outlaw attacks here. The sheriff watches over the land and over us, and we always pay him for that on time. His deputy said, Am I like just making stuff up? His deputy said you haven't paid before. We always do. My husband told him, told him that. Have you heard of an outlaw who goes by the name Jack? Black Jack, he leads the biggest gang in the region, but even they respect the sheriff. Why? Where can I find him? Okay. You sound cheerful. I am. The boy apologised to me and I am. I truly believe this is the best for him. Maybe it should have been a cutscene and I should have walked up, but I've been stealing things and I've missed it. Glad to hear all to... Oh, I'm confused. So clearly, you were up to something. There's a boy somewhere that's mouthing off. Jedediah is a tradesman. Richard's a tradesman. There's a house all the way over there. I think that's the, um, the hermit's house. Or was. Right, what are these little swines doing over here? Young boys can't be up to much good. Oh no, the men. <laughs> the little kids playing. Right, you don't want to talk. Aaron Reeves. 
What's happening? And what do you want? Pleasure to meet you too. I'm um, Deputy Adam Reeve. Now move along. What is this about? They have no right to stay on this land. It belongs to Mr. Chapman and to some Mr. Ryder, who unfortunately never made it here. I'm Ryder. Oh, yeah, I'm Ryder, yeah. All right, most of the land still belongs to Mr. Chapman and all of it under the sheriff's protection. And who are they? Refugees from Paradise, that village that burnt down. It's ghost town. If you're right, that's your land. Congratulations. Aren't they under the sheriff's protection? Why do they have to leave now? Then send them back. We rebuild. They can stay on my land. Yeah, let's do that. They refuse to. They say it's cursed. What a Ghost riders came down from the sky and set everything. It would be good, that wouldn't it? Like, it's not just a Wild West game, the supernatural. Now the ground is cursed and they occupy land that is not theirs. Maybe I could talk to them. I doubt they will go willingly. How are they supposed to move somewhere else if they have so little left? They have nowhere else to go. All right, I'll talk to them. Waste of breath. They are beyond reason. You speak for Mr. Chapman? In his absence, the sheriff's office is tasked with protecting his rights and properties. The sheriff sounds a bit dodgy. He has business elsewhere and rarely visits. I suppose that is why I arrived to find the city built and burnt down on my land, which I bought from Mr. Chapman and you were protecting. What are you implying? Just an observation, these pastures are not actually being used, are they? Is that it? It's not letting me go any further. Oh, yeah, we go. Mr. Chapman owns a lot of lands, wasteland, but with a lot of potential. Maybe it should be put to use, you are suggesting. Let these people pay for staying. As soon as they can rebuild and bring in a decent harvest, the share of profits from it, and I doubt Mr. Chapman will disagree. That will take years. He's not really a forward thinker, is young Aaron, is he? Give them five years. They haven't paid a small fee before. I don't see them pay an even bigger one now. I will help them and they will pay. As will you if you stay here. No matter if you settle on your land or prefer to move elsewhere as well. Is that a threat? Friendly reminder. Five years to settle and you pay yearly. Otherwise you won't have the sheriff's protection. And it's not something you want to lose out here. So am I a man of honor? Or I don't want this dodgy sheriff's protection. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I'm a man of honor. Welcome to the West. What a prick. Hello, Hank. I overheard everything. Thank you. You were standing right next to us. <laughs> Thank you. You just saved all these lives. Thank you. You the leader? Somebody had to be. I'm Hank. Pleasure to meet you. I didn't mean to get involved, but we are glad you did. We have lost so much overnight. Homes, belongings, supplies, animals, friends and family. You just showed up. You just showed us the first glimmer of hope in some time. I wish you could offer more. Hold on to it. You have a few tough years ahead. You will go with that one. We will. Since you arrived with the last convoy, we got separated. I'm looking for my brother, a few years younger than me, similar height. I met a young man during the storm, but no telling if that was your brother. He didn't give his name and he had a scarf in front of his face. What else? He was wounded, but refused to stay. He seemed nervous, took my spare coat. And when I returned from getting some bandages, he was gone. It must have been him. I have to find him. Why would it be him? Didn't someone ride off at the beginning and I chased them? Was that the brother or was that like somebody else? Storm's covered all tracks and probably his corpse. Hank, you're a cheerful dude. He's alive. I know it. I need weapons and provisions. Maybe a guide. We can't offer much. Look at us. We gathered as much as we could from the ruins and we forage and hunt as much as the snow permits. But the winter storms and wild animals came in their share. So I imagine a, lent, a light tent does not have much protection. Come on, skip to the end. We had celebrated the construction of a new warehouse. That's the area where all the architect came all the way from the coast. It was a big event. Now he sits over there by the campfire and has barely spoken a word since. He's busy thinking of all the places he'd rather be. With the weather as it is, he'll be stuck with us for a little longer. I can imagine a worse fate or spring can't come soon enough. Where's fate, yeah? You're lucky you showed up at the right moment, Ryder. Our hospitality. Right, is Ryder a lazy name because I'm a cowboy and I ride horses? I don't know. Our hospitality isn't exactly legendary, but we have each other's backs. If you can help us secure our supplies, I can free up the men to help with the search for your brother. Yep. Let's see if your architect will speak to me. Uh, yeah, we'll do the architect first. Now I can speak to Mama J. Okay, right. Been you off. What's this over here? It's the well. I am so overburdened. I can't run. I think the well's broke. 
And who's this fine young lady walking about? Well, hello there, Grace. I am not a strange man following you really weird behind you. He won't listen, he doesn't care. Okay, don't know who she's on about. Right, who are you, young lady? Ellen. You can't do this to us. You must all be on about that Chapman, dude. They're to sell some stuff, aren't they? Which you might regret, but <laughs> I can't move. Right, Sunshine, what are you selling? You're selling a bow and arrow. I can make these again. So I'm going to sell the stone axes. Because there's, a, there's a, um, a quest to actually make them. Got three there. Got 11 cans of beans. Let's sell um, six of them. Let me just check the clothes. Homestead's jeans. Or pants. So if I wear the pants. Is that a better hat? Oh, so the pants just must be a spare pair, mustn't it? So I've got... Homestead of jeans and pants. One winter coat, elegant hat, field hat. Now, I don't know if I can make clothes for my people later on, but that will be later on. In the meantime, let us make some money. Homestead of jeans. Sell them. Sell the field, field hat as well. See what you're selling. So he sells the food, which is good. I'll come back to him. Right, who are you? Hank, spoke to you already. He was a tradesman there. This dude just wandering about, pretending to work. You still don't want to talk. Mama J, you are a stranger, yet you stood up to Reeve for us. Ain't much of a hero, I'm afraid. I'm cold and hungry. Just happens to have the right words in the right moment. So I'm a humble guy. It saved our lives and even heroes get cold and hungry. It's just not talked about that often here. This will help. Thank you, mom. What did she give me? Chicken soup. Yum, 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 yum. Right, you dude. You're the architect, aren't you? G'day. Leave me be, you uncivilized. Wait, I'm finally a sensible person. You look just like your late grandfather. You knew my grandfather. Small world, eh? Yes, yes, I, have, I can't do voices, sorry. So get out with you, I mean, it's a bit late in the video now if you're expecting voices, but I have read everything the papers say about him. A truly great man. Such a shame that you sold much of the company, but I realise now why. There is no truth to the bankruptcy rumours. Moving to this new continent, you are... Tr so, he knew my grandfather. I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I'm from a different country. Small, small, small world. I heard you are an architect. You heard about me? Of course you heard about me. Adventurer, architect, and philosopher. He, he's making me think of, you know, Red Dead Redemption, the, the guy who has the, the traveling salesman, he's dodgy, and he makes the Gatlin gun wagon. Is it the first game? I think it is. Uh, you heard about me? Of course you heard about me. Adventure, architect, and philosopher. I should be working for you, not for these down-to-earth people. Don't bite the hands that feed you. I'm staying out of compassion. I will be the shining light in this darkness. You notice the settlers are struggling to secure their supplies. What now are they? They need your expertise and I'm sure you, they're willing to show gratitude accordingly. I already designed the perfect modern warehouse, the heart of a city, the true jewel of the West. It offers storage, helps with food, water and material distribution. It can be safe haven. You built it once, do it again. What? No, why not? He's lost the plans. He's found them. Oh, wait. So he's lost. So I've got to go and look for them. Oh, he was robbed. Take this rifle. Yes, please. One bullet. So I've got my first mission. Okay. And another achievement popped up. I've got a rifle. Nice. Find a bandit's hideout, but I've only got one weapon. Risk of starvation. Oh, food goes down quick, doesn't it? There, let's eat me soup. And because I have a sweet tooth in real life, we will wash it down with a cookie. Right, come on, Orion. Let's go kill a bandit. I still haven't seen that boy. <laughs> I was arguing. Oh, this dude's miles away. Let's have a quick check and see if this is the Hermit. Yep, same build. Ed. Ed's farm. Where's Ed? He's got some turkeys. Hello, Ed. What are you staring at? 
Oh, Ed's not a nice guy, is he? Open shop. Oh, he just trades now. So he's selling chicken, corn, so farming stuff. Okay, that's good to know. There was a school. No, I think the school was there. There's a school there. So I think the locations, the POIs or whatever you want to call them, I think they're still the same or mostly the same, or at least in the same location. And then, um, but the story and that'll have changed. I'm going to take this dung because who doesn't like carrying around fresh packs of poop? Yes. Give me your brown gold. <laughs> hey, this will be vital when we're here. We've got our farm going. Just don't lick your fingers after you've been picking it up. I'm guessing this bandit is hiding where you used to start the game up here. Let's get off the horse. Let's save as well, because we're not daft. We don't want to die. I've only got the one bullet. Actually, let's put it away for now, just because we come in peace. Hancock's key. Hello, Sunshine. Can I help you? I expected a less friendly welcome. Why? A man told me you robbed him? Really? Ever met a man called Gordon? He demanded to play cards. He lost players again. So Gordon's a bit of a bullshit artist, isn't he? See, they are. I don't have to play cards with him. Want them? How much are they worth? A hundred dollars or two bottles of whiskey? I don't think I've got either of them. 300. 200. Oh, we're haggling. Where can I get good whiskey around here? I'm a little short on money. Do you know anybody who pays well? Ed on the farm is looking for help with something. Thanks. Can I just shoot him and take it off him? I'm stealing your lantern. You know what? You're going to be awkward with me. I'll be awkward with you, sunshine. At least you don't have to bury me, mother. Okay. Quick scoot through here, see if there's anything worth taking. So far, no. Right, there used to be a pistol up here, didn't he? Is the pistol still going to be here? Let us see. Oh, it might be, you know. Right, first person, because the pistol... There's the gun there. Yes. And then, where are the bullets? Take your hat as well. The bullets used to be on the ground and you couldn't see them, but... But they're in the case now, so that's fine. You don't have to look for them. Six stone holster cartridge. Yep, take everything. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't let me hit them. I wanted to take his skull as well and wear it around my uh, saddle. Like a true savage. Yeah. Just show these people I mean business. And whenever I eventually tangle with the sheriff, he will know not to F with the crazy guy. Beans and redstone. The Wild West was, Wild West was built on beans. Yeah, Americans get all arsy when you talk about beans on toast, which is one of the fantastic meals in the world. You're wrong. You just need to get over this because it's amazing. I might have that for me tea, actually. Ooh. There's the woods, and from what I remember, that way is up to the north. But we're going over to Ed. Can I whistle me horse? This is V2. V's first person. V's build. No, get off there. You pulls the horse, apparently. But he's not listening. Oh, me whistle's broke. My lips are too cold to blow. It does look a lot better. Just walk like I'm fed up, don't I? You know, it's like, ugh. Gotta go do work now. Hello, Ed. I've come back to you. Right, I wonder if these missions are the same. Yo. 
What are you staring at? Oh, you're such a rude prick, any you? Straightforward, that's how I like it. I was told you sell whiskey or I'm looking for work. Let's see work. See that old barn, it attracts rats and when it gun. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. So get an axe behind the house. Yeah, these are the same uh, missions. There's his axe, saves me making one. A holster and some mushrooms. So I can sell a holster. Corn on the cob. Uh, corn on the cob the other day. I, I put it in the air fry, it was well nice. Bit of paprika, bit of oil around it. Refill the lantern. It's getting dark. Can't take us whole just yet. Wait, what am I knocking down? This thing. Go. Do you know what? Just to get rid of that little thing there, I'm going to craft some axes. It doesn't let me select more than one. She always annoys me. I guess it's more realistic because you couldn't feasibly make two axes straight away. Let's get rid of that for the basics because we do need to get some XP going. Cut down. Oh, I'll do the trees after. Right, Eddie. Where are you, Eddie? <laughs> Oh, this episode's too long. I'll have to like um Well hopefully he's enjoying it. If you got to this point and you're still watching, you must have fell asleep. What is it? Uh Yell Barn is history. Well done, well paid. I found a strange battle. Did I? <laughs> did I look inside? Uh, yeah, I did. Can't blame you. What's inside belong to a visitor once had a boy from New York. He claimed that reading the book about something was enough to know how to do it. I asked them to repair my outhouse, no book prepared them for that, I tell you. Yeah, imagine Ed's, Ed's uh, plops. Ugh, where is he now? He wasn't cut out for this. If anything in that part will catch your fancy, feel free to take it. I doubt he'll miss it. Thank you. I think I took it down anyway. Let's talk to Ed again. What is it? Your old barn's history. Yep. My thanks. Oh, okay. So it didn't close it. Silly me. So I've got one bottle of whiskey. But I need four or I need two hundred dollars. And I have seventy-eight dollars. Okay, right. So oh it's talk. It's the end of day two. Ed, I'm gonna sit with you at the fire and we're gonna tell all ghost stories. Can I sit down. I'm gonna stand by the fire and talk. Right. Any any other jobs? I'll come back. We'll open shop. Whiskey's eighty dollars. So what can I sell him? Wait, I've got four bottles. Oh, there you go. Then he gave me four bottles. I don't have to do nothing else. Ooh, let's see what the lantern looks like. How do I light him? There we go. So again. This person, it's very, very bright, but I really like the way it's lit up, the, the torches and stuff, you know, in the night. I think it looks very, very atmospheric. I really wish I could clean the hood up, though. Oh, uh, Mart, Mart, I've come to give you your whiskey. And when you drink yourself into a stupor, I'm going to come rob you for everything. Do you have something for me? I have four bottles of whiskey. There you go. Pleasure doing business with you, sunshine. So we have the warehouse plans. Okay. So why is why did you turn your light off? You just. As I make the slow walk back to Gordon, I will say I'm enjoying this. I think I've, I've done a lot of improvements, and um, I want to play more. You know. So I, I, so far, I mean, it's only day two. I finished two two in-game days. Probably about an hour each, maybe less. Oops, 